Then the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. And you heard the gospel today from Matthew chapter 10, when the Lord called the disciple. And one of the last commission the Lord gave the disciple before he ascended to heaven, he said, Go to all nation, make disciples, and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So the mission of the disciple basically was number one go to make disciple, which means teach the people to come close to God, help them to become Christian, and help them to repent. That's why he said to them, when you go, tell them the kingdom of God is close by, or the kingdom of God is near, which means the, the kingdom of God is reachable. Something reachable, that means very close to you. So you can reach the kingdom of God. But the key, how to reach the kingdom of God through repentance. And he said, make disciple. One of, actually, if you read the four gospels, by the way, you find the word the disciple mentioned in the four gospel, I think 269 times. To emphasize the importance of the discipleship. And finally, he said to them, go and baptize them. And today we're actually celebrating a baptism, Evangeline, uh, uh, Evangeline uh, Sophia, Ruiz Hanna, Evangelist Ruiz Marty, were beautiful. I want to give you a little bit about baptism. Because normally when we attend the baptism or even come and see, I hope today nobody leaves until we go around the church. Well, Mafrutkida, everybody say congratulations to all of them because now we have a new member in our church. It's not just only a celebration by the family, but celebration by all of us here in the church. So I give you a few things to remind you about baptism. Number one, in baptism, we receive a new birth. We all have two births. You have your birthday, that's when you're born from your mother's womb. But the second, which is the most important birth, which is a, the spiritual birth. Two, I'm not going to comment on it because of my voice. Number two, we receive during the baptism also a new identity. When somebody not Christian become, wants to become a Christian, we tell them, no, you must be baptized. Once you are baptized, you, you, are become, you receive a new identity, you become a Christian. And I love one of the fathers sent to Augustine when he said, baptism is one-time performance, but it's a lifetime commitment. So all of us, we have to ask ourselves, I was baptized, but do I really com yani, remind my own personal baptism every day in my life? And the best way to return, I mean to basically uh, 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 live the baptismal life through another type of water. You know, we, in the baptism we go into the water. They call it the tears of repentance. This is the tears also of the second baptism, to wash our sins. So it's a new birth, also a new identity. In baptism, we become body of Christ. We all here as a church, we're one body. We have different members. I can be different than Abuna and can be different than each one of you. We're all different, but we should be one in Christ. We should be one in Christ. We should have our heart full of love. That means through the love of Christ and through the work of the Holy Spirit that's in our heart, we become one. We can accept our, each other's differences. When the, when the Holy Spirit came and the disciple on the day of Pentecost, they spoke different languages. Means they couldn't understand one another. I mean, they, they, uh, sorry, they spoke in different, but they understood one another, which means they can speak different, they can talk different. You can be different than one another, but in the end, through the Holy Spirit, and through the body of Christ, unite us to become a, to become one. So she become, uh, whoever baptized became a body of Christ. Uh, number four, actually, in baptism, we receive, qualify us to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So all of us following the baptism, we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So when you come to the church, ask the Lord, renew the Holy Spirit inside me, O Lord. How beautiful today, we celebrate with this family, the baptism. I want to all of you to say to yourself, I want to renew my own personal baptism. Number one, by go see my father of confession and the tears of repentance to help me to come back to God. I will end up with a beautiful prayer. When we baptize a child, we always say that, grant that, we, that, grant that the image of Christ be betrayed on them, those who are baptized, which means you and I, when we baptize, we should come out to the baptism carrying the image of Christ, carrying a white garment, but the white garment gets dirty every day. You know what? When it gets dirty, go wash it by the uh, tears of repentance. I hope today the main message of the disciple to go out to tell them the kingdom of God is 
by hand. It's very close to us. And go make disciple and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Today is a day since we celebrate somebody's baptism. Time to renew our own personal baptism. May God bless you and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.